Well, it's Monday morning, and it looks like the weather is gonna be pretty good today. It's a little cold, but that's not too bad. At least the snow stopped. And we're gonna head over to the farm and move that white oak timber over to the sawmill and start sawing. Gotta have the sunglasses on if I'm talking to the camera. what kind of glasses I'm wearing here guys these are some wire mesh goggles uh, bug B-U-G-S I think it's the name of them B-U-G-Z something like it I can't remember anyways this is uh, just safety glasses but it's not plastic it's got a wire mesh in there and the reason I like these things so well is they don't fog up you wear plastic glasses or plastic safety glasses rather or even the ones made out of glass they're gonna fog up on you especially in the summertime 
And these right here, because they have the nice wire mesh in there, they keep your eyes from getting any debris in them. And on top of that, they don't fog up ever. They're great. I love them. Just sharing something with you guys that I use that's pretty helpful. So, uh, Bailey sells these and so does Amazon. I think they're about $30, $34, $35 a pair. Well worth it. I've had these for going on three years now. And the thing you got to do to clean them is just run some water through them and let them dry and they're good to go. So if you're interested in them, two links down below. I think Bailey's has them and Amazon both if you're interested in them. I had to cut those uh, limbs off that oak log because the power company came through here and dropped those trees a few months ago. I didn't drop those. And they didn't do a real good job at limbing them, but at least they dropped them for free for us, so I can't complain too much. You guys an idea of how big this log is it's ten and a half feet long and this is the large end down here which will be facing away from me it's 26 inches through the middle diameter 26 and down here closest to the head of the sawmill is the small end 24 inches so only a two inch difference here or a taper from this end to the other which isn't bad at all two inches is not bad we will not have a lot of waste at all in a taper like that double checking my measurement here on the length we need 10 foot boards because this is going to be going up for a cattle fence here on the farm and this log is 10 foot and 8 inches so that's plenty enough room to square up the ends for the 10 foot boards off of i didn't get to any saw milling today the day kind of got away from me by the time we got the tractor over here to move the white oak timber in front of the mill we got that done and then i had to spend about two hours doing some maintenance on the saw mill and the motor and uh now I've got to go pick up my little boy, so uh, responsibilities happen. You don't always get done what you want to get done. Now we're going to go back to the house and do a check on the kiln. I've had it running for 48 hours now. And I should have a decent amount of water coming out of that timber with the temperature it's running at. When I left the house this morning, it was right at 110 degrees inside. So that was about eight hours ago. So we'll head on back there now, see how that's doing. And one more thing, if you like these little update videos I'm doing, I, I plan on doing a sawmill video today, but like I said, things got away from me. So this is more like another sawmill update uh, vlog type video showing my day. Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button because this is an awful lot of work here, moving this camera around and talking about everything I'm doing. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you do that. 